welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni with This Busy Mama. Today we're doing an unboxing video. This box is full of stuff from an estate where the owners were getting rid of everything in the house and Danny was helping to clean out the house so he was offered to take what he wanted and so he boxed up some things for me and I don't know what's in here. So it's going to be a surprise for me and it's going to be a surprise for you too. So let's get in this box and see what we have. Should use more depth. Okay, so everything's wrapped up in clothing or towels. There's some stuff so on I have top to be, that's just extra. Okay, I have to be careful going through this box. Well, that wasn't <laughs> fragile. Keeper candles. Some pictures of Crazy Horse. There's a tiny candle. I'm pretty sure that was in the box with the other one. Oh, okay. Mine just came out. Um, let's see what I can put in here. There's a pretty etched vase. Do you like dance on the video? Mm, you can if you want to. Definitely needs cleaned. Yeah. All right. Oh, I just dumped them. <laughs> There's a planters. Oh, this is so crazy. It's a mug, and it has a bell on the bottom, I guess, so the bartender knows when you're about done with your drink. I don't know. That's crazy. And then there's all these stir sticks from all over the place. I spilled a wine opener. They were big wine drinkers. <clears throat> can't, can't see what they say really. There's a roadhouse, steaks and spirits in North Canton, Ohio. <laughs> There's one with a jet on it. I really just grabbed it for the planters. Yeah. Mug. Yeah. Oh, we've got a pretty, let's see, Golden Crown E&R Italy. These beautiful flowers. Here's a basket of porcelain flowers. I imagine that says made in Italy also. Yes. This could be Capodimonte. I don't know for sure. That is heavy. That's really cool. It looks like a murder weapon. <laughs> it could be. 
<laughs> this is very heavy. And cold. Yes. All this stuff is in my garage. There are two more big boxes like this. Or three. Three more. So we have a lot of stuff to go through. Well, that is beautiful with its uh, control bubbles in there. Art glass bowl. Somebody put little rubber grips on the bottom of it. <laughs> Bulacante is what the control bubbles are called. like a vintage towel. <laughs> it probably is. Let's see what it says. Sunrise instant coffee mellowed with chicory. Better <clears throat> natured. natured. That's cool. So we have some more porcelain, mm. our adult Japan, very fragile, these items will be in my Etsy shop as soon as I get a chance to look, get them listed. Piece of porcelain here from something. The little teeny flower. Oh. And there's a little pot made in Italy. <clears throat> Looks hand painted. Mm -hmm. If anything, she wants it. Super heavy crystal dish. I don't see any signature on the bottom of it. But this is cut crystal. I think. I don't think this is pressed glass. This is sharp, so I'm pretty sure it's cut crystal. It's really heavy. Yes. the bottom that I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to look up that mark. I've seen it before. I don't remember what it is. It could be Capitamonte. I'll let you guys look and you can let me know in the comments what you think that mark is. I have it upside down. Oh, if I move out of the way, it might focus on that. Oh, Did it focus? I can't tell from the angle of that. Oh, okay. I'm trying to stay out of the picture. And this is another all dart piece made in Japan. This is really pretty. That I goes like with colors. them. Does it go with them? Yes, they're all we're like a together thing. And the little display. planter. There's a little Roseville planter. Did it say Roseville or Roseville, Ohio? Roseville, USA. Okay. Twenty-five eleven. Here's another Ardalt piece.
This piece is made by Nevco. I've never heard that name before, but this is really cool. And this is made in Japan. Another vase. So I don't know what any of this is worth or I didn't even know what was in the box. So I'll have to do some research and find out what these things are. Do you think we have time for one more box? Is that the bottom of that That's box? That's the bottom of that the box. That must have been the smallest box. This was the smallest box. All right, so we will bring in another box and do one more. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Weeping gold. That's beautiful. There's just like a set of that stuff in there, so you have to be careful. Okay. I don't know if it's all in one box. There's nothing in the bottom. This one says hand decorated 22 carat. I can't read the rest. USA Weeping bright gold it has a hole in the center like maybe it would have had a handle it has those it have handle? screws down into it and then it has a layer like there's another one of these here oh the so it's like a tiered thing i'm pretty sure i don't know i handled a lot of stuff that day let's see I can... these boxes have been sitting in my garage for what two months three months uh i did that before christmas so yeah so Danny's already forgot what's in them too. <laughs> Plus I moved the whole house by myself. So. Here's a little hanging flower. Looks like they're dried flowers. Made in Italy. These are little picture frames with scenes of oil paintings. Of I don't know that they're actual oil paintings. I think they're reproductions of an oil painting. Uh -huh. But they're really cool. And they're stamped made in Italy on the back. They're not very big. It just has the numbers on the back and it is signed, but it's not an actual oil painting either. It's like a reproduction, but it's really cool. I don't know if the lighting is too much, so I'm going to angle it. Both the same, so I'm just gonna show one. I'll show both. Let's see if I can. That one doesn't have it. That one does. EPNS India Wear. EPNS? That's what I got out of it. You can 
probably see it better on your camera than our eyes can. Some belts. Those are Italian belts. Picture of some kiwi and strawberries. Some stuff just got put in there with the quickness. I don't know if mm, it has. This looks like it was probably done by a student. It says Elias's fruit salad, November 2001. Yeah, she was a school teacher, but like the belts and the hangers were not supposed to be in there, obviously, but oh. somehow they made themselves. Right in there. Oh, we've got some hotel Soap. soaps. Hey. This is from Four Points Sheraton. <laughs> Those are probably no good. We should probably just No, people collect these. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Look at this, a little teeny ruler. Oh, sorry. That's okay. It's I was trying to clean the soaps. There's more in here too. There's a lot. Plaza so. San Antonio Hotel. There's some Neutrogena. That's a Neutrogena sewing kit and a shower cap. You might have just gotten a whole basket of stuff that was in, and they got dumped in there. Like I said, stuff got mixed. Hotel de Varna, Paris. That's cool. The Plaza Hotel in New York. A shaving brush, shaving cream brush. Some more hotel soaps. There's a light bulb. So the one I broke in the basement. Uh, old broke. razor. No, I didn't show it. It's not used. It's in a box. It's in like pumped condition. I don't know if anybody's a collector, but it's really nice. The bottom screw. It opens up. Some pens and pencils there. Did you know that? a bear. It says applause. I don't know if there's a date on here. I think he was in there for packing material. Oh, okay. The stuff didn't break. And he's from 1988, so. He's 34 years old. He is vintage. There's a lot of books in here. 5,000 words often misspelled together with general directions for spelling. Oh, and there's a picture in here. Oh no, it's not a picture. It's like a little, I'm not sure. It says Austro astronauts. Let's see, this is from I thought it was uh, pretty old looking, <coughs> so I just kind of kept it for that purpose. Let's show it to Owen. 1894 book, it's pretty good shape. Tin with a cameo on it. I thought it looked like Wedgwood colors. It does look like Wedgwood. Nothing on the back though. I don't know about the inside, but I'm not gonna. Go I'm, I'm not gonna go through all of these books, but there's a Reader's Digest and From George to George, 200 Years of Presidential Quotes.
the treasury of wit and humor. This looks go. interesting. Daily strength for daily needs. Selected by Mary W. Tileston. Hmm, that's nice. Looking for a date? Um, yeah, I am. It says the, let's see what the last date is here. It looks like 1939. That's really cool. You can show this one. 1939. The story of Lucky Strike. New York World's Fair Edition. Copyright 1938. I like old books. The Dress Doctor. Sounds pretty plain though. <clears throat> 1959. It does say 1939 right there. Kind of hard to see with that camera not focusing. No one can drop a mink more elegantly than Betty Davis. I'll tell Betty White that. Untold story of the Queen of England and her prince, Elizabeth and Philip. I probably just gained some value recently. Probably. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I thought that was cool. <laughs> Victoria and Albert. Nancy Reagan, the unauthorized biography. There's a Bible. There's little notes in it. alumni directory from Kenmore High School. I'm not sure where Kenmore High School is. Ohio. Is it? Mm -hmm. Kenmore, Ohio. It's in Holiday, Florida. Is it? I think so. Where's my don't, don't show the address. I won't. Here is Pat Nixon, The Untold Story. I'm not going to show this one at all. This one's 2005. That's just not, not even worth showing. A Woman of Her Own. She had about half my hair, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, Design and Sew. Drawings by Christine Engler. It's a, hmm. it's got some, it shows you how to do patterns and make a vest. And there's a screwdriver. And that concludes this box. So that's the end of this box. So, we have two more boxes to go, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you know when I post the next video because we are going to go through those next two boxes. I think they'll be a lot better than these two boxes. Danny says they're going to be better than these two, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.